Hi everyone, this is Hobby Crochet. I want to share with you this fantastic pattern. I'm making this plush yarn, little cute snail. I'm sure you will find this adorable. And the pattern is pretty easy. We will make shell, then we will make body and little antennas. You will need yarn. I've got lots of different colors. Choose any you like. This is yarn from Aldi, baby yarn. It is chunky, 100 grams, 95 meters. Crochet hook, 6 millimeters. You will need stitch marker, dunny needle, lots of other pins just to help you to stitch the toy, some toy filling, little bit of black yarn for embroidery if you want to make any, and safety eyes, safety eyes 14, uh, 12 14 millimeters. And I want to show you how to make this toy without magic loop or magic circle. So we are making slip knot and chain two and start working seven single crochets in the first chain stitch. I know lots of people struggle with magic loop. That's why using chain two will give you basically the same result. I will show you in a minute. For round two, I'm making two single crochets in each stitch. But the last stitch I will make only one single crochet. In total I need 13 stitches. So I'm just counting one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, I need total 13 stitches. It's hard to see those stitches, you just have to imagine they're there. If you really struggle, you help with your, uh, you try to run your thumb through those stitches and you will feel it. And then with these 13 stitches, you just go around one single crochet in each stitch, make it for 25 rounds. I don't use stitch marker as you see, I will just, um, I'm a bit lazy with it. You can use stitch marker for every round. I will count 25 rounds at the end. I know approximately it should be quite a long uh, part. So I just didn't want to bother. Don't forget that uh, this is the wrong part. Your wrong, uh, wrong side, your right side is inside. So you just turn it over. And this is your right side. And this is how it looks uh, with chain 2 instead of magic circle. Pretty good. So you keep going until you've got this long part. 
Don't forget to put some stuffing inside. Not so firm, just a little bit. And then you just count your rounds. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, and five. Twenty five rounds. So this is the shell, and I will show you how to make the body uh, the body. Yeah, don't forget to stuff it lightly. I will show you one trick if you want to make this even, you just use your crochet hook and spread this uh, stuffing around this part. Yeah, it's nice and soft because then we will curl it into the shell shape. There you are. And so let's make it together. This will be uh, just like that. This is not the part I will be using for this snail. This is the one I was uh, trying for my pattern. I will show you how to make the body as well. It's just for you to know what you are doing. Right? And this is how it will look. Then we will stitch it together and it will be it. So if you crochet along with me, I will show you how to make this all. If you need to pause my video, if you are uh, slower than me, you just pause and then turn it on again. And so for the body, we will start again with the chain 2. If you don't know how to make slip knot, it's pretty easy. So you just make a loop. And then through this loop, you just pinch the working yarn and pull. This is your slip knot. Let's make it smaller. And there you are. Make chain two. And working in a first chain stitch, make seven single crochets. And this is round one. You just feel it and you will have to feel seven stitches. Round two. You make two single crochets in each stitch. Here I would say you need a stitch marker, but if you can't find it, like I couldn't find it on my working table, so what I'm gonna do, I will show you how to use just a um, colored piece of yarn 
and use it as a stitch marker. It's a very handy thing to do. It's a few ways to do it. So you just insert your hook through first stitch and pull through this uh, your stitch marker. And this is how we mark first stitch of this round. Keep going with the pattern, two single crochets in each stitch. And this is the last stitch, two single crochets, and at the end of the round you should have 14 stitches. You can leave your stitch marker on the round, previous round and just keep going with it, just uh, placing it higher and higher with each round. Or you can do is, uh, the same as uh, I did at the beginning just to run uh, this uh, through your first stitch marker or you can just place uh, this across your working yarn and it will be inside your stitch. So quite a few ways to do it. You will find the way it's easier for you. And for next round we are making uh, what are we making? Uh, for third round we are making one single crochet and one increase in the next stitch. It means one single crochet in one stitch. Next stitch it will be two single crochet in one stitch. It means increase. increase. So you are making two single crochets out of one. So one single crochet and two single crochets in the next stitch. First and second single crochet goes in the same stitch. This is two. So one single crochet and two single crochets in the next stitch. To make your stitches even you need to have a good flow of the yarn. Here I'm going a little bit faster. You can pause my video. It is still the same pattern. One single crochet and increase. And this is the last stitch. You finish with increase. At the end of round you've got 21 stitches. If you count like this. You will feel the edges between the stitches. And you've got lovely little circle.
this is another way to do it. You just place the stitch marker across your working yarn and start crocheting. One single crochet, two single crochet, and increase. Two single crochets in the same stitch. Again we are making one, two, and increase. Two single crochets in the same stitch. Keep going till the end of the round. At the end of this round you should have 28 stitches. If you find stitch marker you are welcome to use stitch marker instead of this piece of yarn. Next I'm making 3 rounds of 28 single crochets, 1 single crochet in each stitch. And this is the middle part of the head. And after three more rounds you will have this nice little ball shape. Then we will start making decrease. So stitch marker. And it will be three single crochets and decrease. I will show you how to make invisible decrease in Amigurumi. How to make decrease now? Insert your hook in the middle of the stitch, picking the front loop, picking front loop of the next stitch, and making a single crochet. Again, three single crochets. And decrease. Decrease it means you are making one single crochet out of two stitches. Instead of two single crochets you will have one single crochet. So we are reducing the amount of stitches, making this uh, ball shape uh, to, to less stitches to the neck. And finish the round like this. At the end of the round you should have 23 stitches.
Next round I want to start with decrease. So first stitch will be decrease stitch. And then two single crochets. Decrease. And two single crochets. This is the pattern till the end of the round. If the video is too fast for you, you can always change this in settings and um, this is how you do it. You find three dots on the right top corner of your screen if you are watching mobile. So tap on these three dots and uh, you will go into settings, tap on playback uh, speed and choose maybe 0.75 or 0.5 and uh, this video will play very slowly and finish the round with decrease and one single crochet now you've got lovely round ball you have 17 stitches and if you want you can put eyes I placed mine bit on uh, one two three four five and six round uh, you play with it and fit uh, the eyes uh, whenever you find this best I left five stitches between, but you play, you can leave around four or five stitches. Find the position and then attach safety cups. Looks good. Safety cups should fit securely holding this eyes. This one is probably mixed up, it's uh, from larger eye. It should just fit in. If you are making this toy for the smaller baby, it is um, advisable that you melt those ends that safety cup cup does not go undone accidentally just to avoid choking hazard or instead of this plastic eyes you can use uh, you can embroider uh, or you know s stitch some uh, eyes for the snail for the next round I will start with decrease and then make three single crochets I repeat decrease and three single crochets
and finish the round with decrease. You will have 13 stitches in total and this will be the size of the body. 13 stitches you will just go around. One single crochet in every stitch. This is very easy pattern. Maybe it's time to put the filling. This is how you do it. You just pocket in. If you want firm, you can stuff more, but I prefer to keep it uh, quite soft. It's like a stress ball. You just keep crocheting and make 17 rounds of the body part. You can use stitch marker or uh, because it's just uh, basically very boring, you can just keep going and then count your rounds. You should stop it when you are round 27. So if you count it from top and if you lost your stitch marker, this is how it goes. You see it's like a spiral. So and this uh, one wonky bit, you can see where the spiral kind of changes. So this is the beginning of the round. If you count somewhere like on that side from the top. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 27 rounds. If you want to put more stuffing, but I prefer to keep this last part flat, maybe one third of the body part flat. So it will be decrease. one single crochet, two single crochet, decrease and repeat. One single crochet, two and decrease. Repeat till the end of the round. You have one single crochet to finish the round and in total it will be t 10 stitches. Next round, one single crochet and decrease. I'm finishing the body part, one single crochet and decrease.
and the end of the round he will be left with one single crochet and in total you will have seven stitches next round start with decrease then one single crochet decrease one single crochet you've got left one single crochet so just make another decrease if you can and it will be it cut the yarn but leave the tail I will show you how to finish this opening to finish you insert your hook inside the next stitch and feed this tail through insert inside the next stitch and pull the tail through and do it till the end of the round you've got four stitches so four times you will do it and then you will just pull the end and you've got very nice clean uh, finish you can hide this tail using um, the needle or using uh, the hook just hide it inside the body, it will be fine now the body has very nice shape and it's finished, uh, you will stitch this together I will show it how to do it yeah we haven't finished the shell after single crochets you you will place couple slip stitches and it will reduce this step chain one cut the yarn but leave the tail I will use this tail to stitch the shell and attach it to the body first you need to roll the shell and have a look how it uh, fits using safety pin first you, s you kind of pin it together just to check how it goes it is a little bit awkward but take your time it's nothing difficult really it is a little bit awkward but it's not so difficult you just make it all in one piece using a safety pin and then uh, I will show you how I stitch it after that I will show you how to make a uh, little antennas I will use wire for them to poke out and it looks very cute any wire will work I didn't really show you at the beginning of the video that I was using wire because I to be honest I didn't think about it but then I said yeah let's use wire
in your eyes got in all kinds of trouble 16 days and I'll be leaving but in seven or eight I'll be screaming hit the road and I hit it so fast my body moves on but my mind stays back 16 days and I'm still dreaming Give me something to believe in Turn the music up, turn the music down. God, please tell me what's that sound and tell me why I can't get up. Do you want me to stay down? I can't get up. Do you want me to stay down? I can't get up. All I ever do is stay down. Do you want me to stay down now? Stop looking in my eyes Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times So I know my way around Don't stop looking at me No. 
an art museum. I'll explain it at the coffee shop. If you want to make Antonis, I will show you. I start again with chain two. And make six single crochet in the first chain stitch. And now you need to attach the wire. If your wire is strong enough, just box through the stitches. I'm helping myself with a crochet hook because my wire is very flimsy. This is the wire that just uh, ties the plastic, I think, uh, little bags I bought a pack of Amazon. I used plastic bags, but I, I'm left with those little wire thing. Any wire will do just a small piece. So I'm just feeding it through and secure it inside. Now we need to create small ball, so we've made six single crochet and now it's a decrease round. You need to make decrease. It is a little bit fiddly, but you can make it if you take time. So pick front loop of first stitch, front loop of the next stitch and make one single crochet. And repeat it a couple more times. So you end up with three stitches. Take your time. It's exactly the same what you did uh, on the other part or any amigurumi part. It's just very small part. And decrease once again. Maybe smaller hook could help. I didn't think about it. This is it, you've got little ball. And now I will make few single crochets across this wire, along this wire. As many as you want, I think five, seven is just great. And then I will show you how to attach the how to attach this to the head. Finish it with chain one, but leave the tail. Maybe seven is a little bit too much. I think five could be all right. Looked in your eyes, got in all kinds of trouble. Sixteen days and I'll be leaving. But in seven or eight, I'll be screaming. Hit 
the road and I hit it so fast My body moves on but my mind stays back 16 days and I'm still dreaming Give me something to believe in Turn the music up, turn the music down. God, please tell me what's that sound and tell me why I can't get up. Do you want me to stay down? I can't get up. Do you want me to stay down? I can't get up. All I ever do is stay down. Do you want me to stay down now? Stop looking in my eyes Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times So I know my way around Don't stop looking at me But there's no need to fret it It's like a gift, it's about the thought No name might be too much And Van Gogh might take a while But thank you for coming 
coming I know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile Take my hand and hold it tight Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide Don't stop looking in my eyes 